With inbound lab cases, we're going to go over the functionality on how EagleSoft uh, takes care of lab cases, and then uh, we'll go through a scenario of creating a lab case and assigning it to an appointment and then checking it in. We'll also go through the scenario of a lab case is received, but there is no future appointment for the patient. In that case, we'll go ahead and call the patient, get them scheduled, and assign that lab case to them. So with lab cases, it's super important that we have the lab cases in the office before the patient shows up. Obviously, they're going to be wasting a lot of time, and they can get upset if they come in for an appointment and the lab case isn't in. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to recognize some kind of some of the time frames. Most lab cases take us two weeks in order for us to get it back from the lab. There are occasions where we can put a rush on things or there's certain types of lab cases that we can get in a little bit sooner. Um, if that's the case, uh, we'll usually set up those uh, instances in the clinic. But for most cases, it is two weeks. So in the clinic, we usually are rescheduling the appointment or rescheduling the patient for two weeks plus one day. If we're really trying to push it, we will set up that appointment for the afternoon after two weeks because we know that the, the lab comes in at about 11 a.m. So if we schedule them in the evening, it can be it can work out. But that's the exception to the rule. Now, the Appointment types that you need to be aware of that include lab case deliveries are the crown and bridge seats. We have this one specifically set up for delivery of lab case, dentures with a lab case, and then also the implant seats. Okay, So we have to be aware that occasionally a patient will call in with a broken temporary crown, and it's been about two weeks since they had uh, the crown prepared. In that case, we can check to see if their crown, their permanent crown has been delivered. If so, we would switch their appointment from potentially an emergency to a crown bridge seat, and we would assign the return lab case. Okay. So how do we create a lab case? Uh, you won't usually be creating a lab case in the front unless uh, it wasn't created in the back. So with EagleSoft, there's two ways to create a lab case. One is to click on the appointment and then go ahead and click on lab tracking and then you can cl click new here. The other way that you can search for past lab cases a little bit better and a little bit more comprehensively is to go is to double click on their appointment and then go ahead and click on lab tracking here that will also bring the screen up although sometimes it's a little bit more comprehensive okay so in this case we're going to go ahead and create a lab case they already have a lab case created but we'll go ahead and create another one and we're going to assign it to the provider as dr stott laboratory aspen dental lab lab case let's go ahead and do a zirconia crown shade b1 and we'll go ahead and say that this is on tooth number eight okay now usually the the clinician is going to print out this lab case and it's going to be included in the outbound lab case okay but we'll go ahead and click on that and you can see that the case has now been created okay and it automatically queues up a due date of two weeks from today. Now, another option here is we can actually assign this lab case to this appointment. And the way that we do that is we simply, if we had this appointment and we go to lab cases, we would click on this one here and we would click on apply. Now you're gonna see this little beaker uh, show up, this beaker icon show up on the appointment and that is indicative that there's a lab case assigned to this appointment okay now when the uh when the lab case is actually returned uh what we do is when you receive your lab cases you're going to go into each individual lab case and go find the appropriate uh appointment 
and then you're going to click on returned and put the appropriate date okay so if this is the case we're going to go let's go ahead and say that this was opened on the 11th it was returned on the 22nd and you'll see that this icon instead of it being an empty beaker goes to a full beaker and so that allows the doctor and the assistants to know that that lab case is in so the usual protocol in the clinic is is that the assistants will pull all of the lab cases for the following day so that we can guarantee that all of the lab cases are in now they will inspect any lab cases uh, any lab appointment types that aren't in and they will either call the call the patient they will call the lab or uh, they'll talk with the doctor about what they want to do with that lab case so it's very important that the clinicians have that evening huddle where they're pulling all of those lab cases and making sure that the the cases are ready for the following day so once the the lab case is, is assigned to the appointment it'll show up with that beaker once the date has been chosen as date returned which will be usually today that beaker will show as full and then the fronts will after all of those cases have been um, if all of the cases that have been received by the lab are able to be assigned to appointments the lab will take all of those lab cases back to the lab and tell the assistants that the lab cases are in and the, the assistants will go ahead and organize the lab cases in the in the laboratory now if a lab case comes in that does not have a future appointment and how are you going to test that out so you're just going to come in let's say a lab came in for this patient and you're going to click on locate you're going to choose uh, the patient that came in and you're going to if you see that they do not have any future appointments then you're going to look at the lab case call the patient and tell them hey your lab case is in we'd like to get you scheduled for that appointment why do those certain lab cases exist sometimes a patient will break a denture and uh, we don't know when the lab will return the case we're hoping that it's going to be within a couple of days and so what the what the provider will do is they'll say listen we'll immediately call you when the lab case is in so the the clinician will not set up a future appointment they will set up the outbound lab case and then when it comes in they're just expecting the fronts to do that that very rarely happens because doctors are uh, very keen to making sure that the lab case is delivered so they usually will set up an appointment but if that appointment is not set up then the protocol is to call the patient set up the appointment assign the lab case click it as returned and then deliver it to the back